NFL head coach has returned, and today we have week one, everybody. We are going to see if I can put the losses of Miami behind me, and if the days of coaching the Falcons can bring some new success for Harley Jean Charles. We'll have our very first game here against the Arizona Cardinals. We're at 73 approval, and here's what we have for our game plan. They pass the ball 57% of the time. Got a few plays here that they like to run. I'm not sure what to do with this information, but we have a couple tosses and then an inside run. And we have some deeper developing passes. What I wanted to do was, I'm trying to get a feel for, like, just teaching my players the playbook. That's been something that's just bothered me the last few streams, because I'm trying to understand it more. Okay, in this screen, it will tell me how much understanding the team has for that given play. So I kind of wanted to pick one play here right away and I want to call it a few times during the game and just see if I can notice some sort of a change in the, the mastery of that play so that you know if I want to learn a certain play do I get rewarded for calling it in game hmm I'm not sure this is going to be entirely useful but I'm going to experiment with it we have nobody who's really learned this play at all so this is just going to be deep in, out of pistol. It's never been run by us before. Another cut day, really? I guess so, I got 57 players. Sorry, McCracken. Five corners, six safeties is a little too many. All right, we had some goals failed here, but they weren't really major. We do have our uh, approval drop to 70 though, so a couple of them failed that did have points. So staff is down 13. I guess I didn't get Michael Turner's play knowledge up to 32. I'm not sure what it was at, but that failed. I wonder if part of it had to do with the injury, like he didn't get to play for that one game. I thought we were going to get there on all those goals, but we failed that one. Nailed the other important ones, though. All right, new goals, everybody, with week one here. We have to win three out of our first four. The owners just have the highest expectations here. Beat the Saints on Monday night in week six for the fans. I kind of like they have these rivalry games. Like, this game is important. Because that does happen. You know, I think fans, you know, they rally around wins against rival teams. And they, you know, will be quick to jump off the bandwagon losing to a big rival too. The fans want you to crush the Bucks in week 12. Win Offensive Rookie of the Year with Jeremy Dahl or any rookie wins offensive rookie of the year where's the defensive goal that'd be a lot better wow the media thinks your gm needs to be replaced hire a new one to make them happy so media approval is obviously factored into the approval equation i have to appease to the media even though my gm is about to have mid-major insider and small school insider which is very valuable the fans want us to hire one of the college coaches this season Hopefully not to replace me. Are you cool with an OC or a defensive coordinator? Have an approval of 80 by the end of the season. I think we have to be a little more realistic about where this team is at. It's the second time now I take over for a team coming off a terrible year and they want the quick bounce back. What do we got here for practice recap on that one play? So this was the one play I was kind of focused on. It just happened to show up there, so... We get to 71% now. If I call it a few times during the game, I want to know if that changes. Draft preview already. I want to play my first game. I don't care about the draft right now. But I guess it's a very, very strong quarterback class. It's good at running back, wide receiver, not so much at tight end. The offensive line class is good. So we have an outstanding offensive draft ahead of us. Defense is a lot more underwhelming, which makes me happy that we got Waddell, we got Travis Baldwin, we got uh, Dino at linebacker, I forget the name of the safety we drafted, so really good that we accumulated defensive talent because this class doesn't favor that. Alright, setting our inactives for this week. 
We have Drexler injured, so he's not playing. All right, let's have uh, Hayward here as inactive. I love setting the inactives in here. It's just another layer to this game that I think is interesting, and you have to really consider if you're going to play guys. And there are players who are banged up. They're not 100%. So it's just another layer of strategy. And then there's less depth on game day, so you really have to think about it. So week one is here, everybody. We have the Battle of the Birds, Cardinals, Falcons. Of course, we're playing this game. All right, everybody, a new season underway with the Atlanta Falcons. Approvals at 70, remember that. That's where we begin week one, and we are underway. This would be the 2009 season, and the Cardinals will start with the football. And after making a move, they'll have it at the 29. Now, my coordinator called this play. So, I have no idea what it is. But the Cardinals start with a run. There's one missed tackle. And outside the numbers, stopped after two. And I'm doing this in real time, by the way. So, Matt Leinert at quarterback, everybody. Edgerin James, Larry Fitzgerald at just 26 years old. But Matt Leinert's at quarterback today. So, let's try to make it tough on him. Yeah, look at that coaching advantage. That's not good for me. Liner hands this one off. Edgerin James makes a move and picks right, up about five. Especially on third down, I want to focus on more of our mastered plays. I might mix it up more on early downs to try to gain knowledge for those other plays, but got to go to our best right here. Now the coaching advantage change. I'm not sure what happened there. Or maybe that's a different chart. Okay! Leinert's going down! Always yes, good when you can it, do nice that play. instead of wrapping up the the running back. So it's a sack for Jamal Anderson, and we will get the football first here in the Harley Jean Charles era for the Atlanta Falcons. All right, we've got a lot of work to do here with the Falcons. We are going to start with a mastered play here, tight end corner. Let's get Matt Ryan into a rhythm right away. We go with the trips look Ryan outside the pocket already and he's going down I think they brought an extra defender and now both quarterbacks have been sacked all right so I think this drive is pretty much already over but we're gonna run the football here second and 14 just to get a little something going there all right so this deep in it's already called mastered after one session so it's like 29% learned and that's enough to be considered mastered so one session is all it takes for an individual play and we're going over the middle this is gonna be close give us the first nice down job, let's son. go nice move job. the chains that was Desmond Clark this is a pretty good view to watch a running play can we get to the outside not exactly not all right, deep attack here, trying to go long. I wish I could bring up the play art. Is that a thing? Just so I could take a look. Anyway, they bring five clipboards in the way. Flushed outside, going long. Got it! Down the sideline! Falcon score! Touchdown! How about that? One drive in. Let's see that approval go up. Come on, we're getting emotional. Harry Douglas, 59 yards. Zachler, thank you for the super chat. What is your least favorite thing about Madden 20? Wait a minute. Off the upright. We have a rookie kicker. In case you didn't know. Oh, they're going to throw it here. We bring the pressure at Leinert, and he fires a strike. That is Larry Fitzgerald, 26 years old. Well, that doesn't sound good if someone's out of position. Over the middle again, liner with a strike. First down, Cardinals. It's going to be so cool if we can make it deep into this series without getting fired. Imagine the players that won't be busts that were in real life. Like, you might look at this game right now and Matt Leinert as their quarterback and think, okay, he's not that good, but it's a different universe. He could end up panning out pretty well in this series. Hard to say. Too early to say right now. 
Another handoff here. That time. Oh, we just got to make the tackle. We cannot bring down Edge. Third down now. They've driven in the field goal range. And again, they keep it in the hands of Liner. Damn, we're having a heck of a time here with Larry Fitzgerald. So I want to see here who is actually in coverage. I'm guessing that it's not Waddell. I want to say that's Ty Law having a hard time. Do we try putting the rookie Demario Waddell on Larry Fitzgerald? Because we're not slowing him down yet. Yeah, 38 is Law. Let's try Waddell. Let's see what the rookie can do. Again, uh, AI is going to pick the play for me because I'm managing other stuff. It's weird because the whole game basically takes place, you know, in an unpaused capacity. It's a real-time clock for the most part, especially when you're playing here. So, you know, I made that adjustment, therefore the coordinator picks my play. Which I think is kind of cool. Toss outside. James, yep, first contact doesn't work. Edger and James to the one. And to stop it. there. It's Waddle. I keep forgetting. It's Demario Waddle. Here's a run. Edger and James shrugs off the first defender, and he's in oh, for the touchdown. On, no one is making the tackle on the first try. Their extra point happens to be a lot better than ours, so the Cardinals grab a 7-6 lead here in the opener. I think if we can get into like some good situations like second and short, that's when I might go to more of those unlearned plays to try to get them some knowledge when maybe failing a play doesn't have a huge, uh, a lot of consequences. So there's a 14-yarder. That's the second time we got Desmond Clark going. I'm not sure about this alignment. I think that unblocked defender's right there. But Turner slips a tackle and might get back to the line of scrimmage. The other thing to keep in mind is that we're not super deep at wide receiver. Like, Laurent Robinson is our three. So I think, you know, more formations like this hey, make sense. Here is Matt Ryan. Uh-oh, the pressure's there again. If we get into a second and short, that's when I'm breaking out the waddle fade. But I'm saving it for now. Let's see. We call deep attack. I mean, we had that big success on it with the Harry Douglas touchdown. We can go back to it. Not sure if it was like a penalty for going back to the same play. Like the defense can better understand what's coming. But here's some pressure. Ryan stands tall. He fires over the middle, and it's incomplete. That's okay. Just tell him to shake it off. Close one. Um, well, Matt, 10 sliders have gone through so many revisions. The latest one... Oh! That's a fumble! We're gonna score off that! Who delivered that hit? Wow! Touchdown, Falcons! Wow, who did that? I don't know if I can even tell without going to the stat sheet so let me see who delivered that huge hit Eric Coleman there you go I want to see if he can make it this time I'd rather know now like if he misses it that we got some big problems than later in the game so extra point number two that one's much better 13-7, though, we got ourselves a lead. It's been pretty fun so far, but very big play, Reliant. Toss outside. Here goes James. He has space. Has the first down. Again, first contact. Having some trouble. Tackle made after a gain of 20. Trying to get pretty aggressive here on early downs. I think that that kind of uh, backfired on that last drive because Leinert was able to hit some throws. But I'm mostly just trying to crowd the box and hoping to get multiple players around James. Because the, uh, the first defender Sam making the play hasn't been too reliable. That was pretty good, though. If we can force this team to throw, then I can kind of change my approach. But it has to be obvious passing downs. All right, let's go cover one here. And remember, Demario Waddle is now covering Larry Fitzgerald. That should be the matchup on the uh, top of your screen here. Looks like a handoff. Nope, it's a throw. Got me. We don't have a lot of blitzes in this playbook. I may actually have to create some. I forget if I made any when I was doing defensive plays earlier that one time. But it's third down and four. And here's Leinert. 
Pressure picked up for a moment. He throws over the middle, and it's incomplete. I think they collided there. Let's see. Fatigue. That uh, looks better for Clark. All right, from the goal line, don't take a safety, Ryan. Underneath and caught. Nice move there, Roddy White. First down and more. Up to the 30. 23 yards. I'm really impressed with uh, the big plays we're getting so far. Ryan might have some high yardage this season. Sidesteps the pressure, throws it short. Let's go with an unlearned halfback dive here. Let's learn it. So there's the knowledge down below. We don't have much knowledge of this play, I'm guessing. Lost. And here is the run. Bouncing outside. There's some room out there. And Turner's caught from behind. Looked like he never got up to full speed. That or his top speed was not that good. Maybe I could try giving a couple carries to one of our faster backs. Is he tired? You know what? Oh, I tried calling a timeout right there. It didn't work. Didn't think about fatigue, but a good run here from Turner. It's second and three. I am down to uh, sub out Turner. Fatigue to 50. Yeah, keep him out for now. Waddle, fade. Here it is. Demario Waddle checks into the game. He is slot right for Matt Ryan. He's the primary read on this play. It's a safety blitz. Ryan, outside! Waddle's got it! First down! Falcons! Demario Waddle has his first catch. That's my play. Outside. Got it. I love what Matt Ryan is doing. Got a really good arm. And I can draw up plays in-game, keep in mind. And I can edit plays, too. If I see a play and I'm like, nah, this route works better in this situation, I can take advantage of that play out of there. But what I love right now is we're even passing the ball well on first down. That's really opening things up. We're not having to go to third down every time to try and get a conversion. Yeah, Matt Ryan is so much better than every quarterback we played last season. You can already tell. On second down, he gets it out quickly, and Roddy White gets us very close to another first. I really want to call this bunch fade, but we just don't know it. And I don't want to call a bunch of unlearned plays in the red zone. That seems like a, a low upside move. Creeping down the safety again. They bring pressure. Harry Douglas was open for a touchdown, and Ryan didn't see him. They blitz the safety on that side and the corner. And they bring four. Ryan for Roddy White. It's off the mark. Uh, what was I thinking there? All right, so we're going to have to bring out the field goal team now. I believe Kurt Reeves is our kicker. Okay, approval here. Fourth and goal. Are you going to go for it? Wow. So approval will fall big time if we kick the field goal. If we go for it, there's a lot of approval to gain. This is so risky, though, in the first half. The field goal makes way more sense, but the risk-reward here for the approval says you go for it. I think they're blitzing the safety again. Oh, boy, this is an aggressive frontier. And here's Ryan. He's going to go outside. We got it. We got the first down. Wow. I did not want to do that, but I got the 77 approval for doing it. All right, trying to pound this in now with Michael Turner. We go three wide here. We get him in a 3-3-5 three, three, look, which I think favors our power running game. Michael Turner, right side, don't juke, not necessary, touchdown! Let's go, Atlanta! Now do we go for two, or do we try to kick the extra point? Of course the chat wants me to go for two. But I'm going for the extra point. Got to see if Reeves can hit it. Oh, man. There is some kicking variance in here. I've wanted that in Madden forever. He had one off the upright, one right down the middle, and one that just sneaks inside. Here's my thought as well. If we build up a big lead, I can call a bunch of unlearned plays to try and pick up their play knowledge in a game where there's not much risk, not much to lose. 
Of course, it is a run to James to start this drive, and he picks up five. Yeah, so this is a big drive for us. Uh-oh, got him again. Hey, Second that time that's bad. happened. I had to score a touchdown, not the first down? That is weird. Anyway, we call cover two here on third down, and that should have been picked. It's incomplete, though. That works, too. Let's make a play here. We're just going to have three blockers here. I want this to have plenty of time. So we're changing this to a pass block. Yeah, I don't care. Turner can swing outside. That's fine. We're going to have Douglas on the streak. We're going to make a medium in here. And we're going to make a deep in here with Roddy. Just kind of a daggers level hybrid here, I guess. Because I got trips on one side. I didn't edit my reads, though. Now it's dumped off. Not much. All right, that didn't work. Not good at all. Throw that one out. But the thing is, I just don't have a lot of, like, spread, two-minute drill, pass plays here. So maybe I'll try building one more here. We'll see what happens on this second down play. If I get into third down, I may have to draw something up. Ryan pressured, and this time they get to him. That wasn't pretty. All right, we're going to build a deep ball play. Roddy White. I want to make something for Roddy. Not really much of a concept here. I'm just trying to call something up for uh, Roddy to get a chance to make the first down play. Third down and 13. They do blitz the safety, so Roddy's isolated. We had zone underneath. There we go. Got the pickup. Down to 54 seconds. I have all my timeouts. I might have uh, needed to spend one, but I haven't yet. Downfield. That is also caught at the 40. Let's spend the timeout there. Actually, there's something I want to build here. It's something I wish was built into more playbooks in Madden. I did this a lot, I think, in the Chargers series. I want to say. I want a comeback route here with a vertical next to it. What do we got for comeback route? I can do deep curl. I don't know that this post stop is what I want. Again, don't care about the check down here. Let's just have you pass block. And Douglas can run a post. Oh, I didn't edit the reads again. That's okay. Anybody on this play, I think, can make something happen. Let's see here. Ryan throws it quick, and uh, wasn't what I wanted there. Are the Cardinals ready for it after seeing this run successfully one time? Ryan low snap. Plenty of time. Throws middle. It's caught. Gain of 11. 40 seconds to go in the half. Short completion again, but it gets the first down. Let's call timeout again. 35 seconds left. All right, we're apparently mastering this play. I had one practice session, and I've run it a couple times. Knowledge looks way up for this play. Let's see if we can get Roddy here in the end zone, though. Pressure sent. Ryan, oh man, how is he getting away with all of these throws? 33 seconds to go here for Ryan. Protection is fine. Ryan dumps it off. We're going to get inside the five. I think here I want to draw up my own play because I don't want there to be a check down or anything that could be shy of the end zone. This play here already has a pretty good setup, though. I trust Y sit. We've mastered it. It has the kind of routes I'd want here. All right, if we take a sack, though, that's going to be a big loss for us. So please, Ryan, get the ball out quick. He does, and it's caught for the touchdown! Falcons on the board again. What a half. All right, now, the adventures of these extra points. One was great. One barely good, one off the upright. Number four, right down the center, his best yet. You know, the other thing, too, I need to be playing some backups here, probably, to get those players' experience. I'm not going to do it quite yet, because, like, we could conceivably blow this lead. This is the same franchise that, you know, 28-3 to the Super Bowl. So, maybe after one more score or later in the third, we'll bring in some backups. 
That hasn't happened yet, Kane. That's true. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Be Was there, there a delay of game? Uh, oh, it's on us? Ah, oh, great. Alright, don't go two delay of games in a row, please, Ryan. Get this snap off at least. We do on first and 15 to begin the third quarter. Sidestepping the rush, throwing into a bunch of players and nearly getting intercepted again. It's a play that's designed for Harry Douglas to come across the field and just get some yards after the catch. So I am going to make him the first read. It's kind of a give up play. Why are you making a play mid-game? Because it's the only football game that lets you do it. 27 to 7. Trying to bring some pressure. Ryan does dump it for Douglas. May have been better off going right. downfield, but. Doing a great job moving the chains. And the best part is, is I think they're going to play themselves out of like being able to run the football a ton. I guess we'll see on this drive. They are going to run it. And James hit once and twice. Try to run a stunt inside, and they just throw it over the middle for an easy first that down. Second and six for Leinert. Here comes the rush, and he does complete it to Fitzgerald. That was kind of close. I don't believe this. AI comeback is real. I'm not going to be too risky here. I, I called a few plays that we didn't have great mastery of, but now that they're getting closer, right, I will play. go back to it. That's a fumble, and James, did we get it? Edger and James fumbled, and the Falcons have it. So, Turner hasn't been like 100% in this game, I think. I'm sorry you can't see the play. I'm editing my depth chart. It's how this game works. Here's Matt Ryan over the middle. That's a good connection. That's Ben Watson across the 40. All right, Matt Ryan on first down. Again over the middle. Too easy. No idea what his yardage is at right now, but I think it's going to be very nice. So, Jarius Norwood's going to get some playing time now. I don't think we're going to play Michael Turner anymore in this game. But here's a little halfback dive, and it's Norwood. I like the cut there. Good call. Gain of five. He did get hurt in preseason. That did happen, yes. That's another fumble! And Leinert dives on it! That's the third forced fumble today. Two of them on future Hall of Famer because we're in 2009, Edger and James. Can't see them running the football a whole lot more. Matt Leinert standing tall, firing outside. So close. But a first down. Yeah, the defense has been pretty good. And on most of the plays they've given up yardage, I was either blitzing and it was, you know, risky plays that are hard to cover or... My unlearned plays I'm just trying to drive up knowledge for. Toss outside. Redirection and another huge hit. That was Keith Brooking. Here's the sideline view. Over the middle. It's caught. And into Falcon territory. A first down. Another run here. Edgerin James looking for redemption. He runs it right down the middle to the seven-yard line. All right, trying to keep him out of the end zone here. Out of the eye. Another give inside. Nice hit. Let's go. Is that carry Rhodes? Are the roads closed? All right, one more try here, I guess. Third and goal. Liner with time. He's nearly intercepted. Let's go. We call our best defensive plays, and that's what happens. I wonder if they're going for it. Four receivers. Okay, we haven't done anything yet. Fourth and goal. Can we take this football? Liner three wide. James to his left. Fitzgerald isolated on the rookie. Demario Waddle. Liner's taking his sweet time. Now the snap. Plenty of time in the pocket. Looking for Fitzgerald and it's intercepted. And this is going to go. Come on. Demario Waddle all the way to the end zone. A pick six as the rookie high steps in. Way to finish strong, boys. Keep it up. What a moment for Demario Waddle in his debut. Oh, yeah, we got to get emotional for that. 
What a play. All right, the extra points, though, have been a journey. Here's the fifth of the day. Bang, right down the middle. Kurt Reeves, 405. Are the playoffs more believable now? Great talent. I don't know. We're sure, you know, taking advantage of this matchup, but the way Ryan's played, the way the defense has right, played, the way up. we've executed our best plays in the playbook, sure looks like 5-11 and 11 would be more disappointing than promising at this stage. It's 34-7 now, and I do think we should play some more backups. Toss to the outside. James gets past the first defender, falling inside Guys, the five. That's not what I wanted. There's no depth chart in the pause menu. No, it has to be done like in game normally. Touchdown, Edgerin James. That looked pretty easy. So I think that we can take Ryan out of the game here for this next drive. Because I want to play backups. I don't want to risk Ryan getting injured or anything. So AJ Feely is going to get some snaps. This is exciting. No idea what they called. So let's experience this together. I think it'll be a run. AJ Feely is in the game at quarterback. And we're going to run this one ahead for about four yards. What do we got? AJ Feely, everybody. He's going to throw it into a defender. Oh, wow. Now every play is unlearned because of my personnel. That's interesting. I like that. 419 left to go. 20-point game. Wow, quick pressure. Forced to dump that out quickly. And we're not going to get there. As a diehard Falcons fan, I'm still sweating with this lead. Oh, come on. It's 20 points with three and a half to go against Matt Leinert. Leinert throws it short. I'm fine if you want to go seven so yards at a time. I know, I don't have a ru uh, young running back in this game. And in my Broncos current season, I only have three running backs on the roster. Because I just felt they were so solid, I didn't have to keep a fourth. That's wide open, Larry Fitzgerald across midfield. Third and one for Leinert. He's going to the end zone this time! Intercepted! Is that who I think it is? Demario Waddle has two in his debut. Wow. Demario Waddle. Already a playmaker. Steel plays. Ooh, we got some blitzes. Weak side surprise. Yes, please. Let Waddle kneel the ball out. That would hurt his rushing yards. We can't do that. Yeah, you bet. We don't have much learning here for QB Neal. We didn't get to call this much in Miami. But here, very first game with the Falcons. Harley Jean Charles is going to record his first win. And do you know what that means, everybody? Harley Jean Charles now has a winning streak as a head coach in the NFL. He won his last game with the Dolphins. And now, game one with the Atlanta Falcons as soon as A.J. Feely stops wasting our time here. Matt Ryan, two touchdowns, 277 yards. He was 21 for 30. How about that stat line? That is really good stuff. I know it's going to be lower than Sim. We got 97 plays. Sim is like 120, but if you get around 100, you end up in a pretty good spot for video games usually. So Ryan was excellent. We didn't run the football all that well. Hopefully that gets better because I think we'll need that at some point. Over 100 yards for Ben Watson and a touchdown. Finally a tight end getting usage in one of my series. Harry Douglas, 82 yards and the big touchdown. Waddle had 17 yards. How about on defense? We had three forced fumbles. Brooking, forced one. Michael Boley. Eric Coleman and then of course the two interceptions for Demario Waddle plus another deflection already a touchdown it even shows his receiving yards allowed against that is amazing that was fun what a win approvals change Approval is up to 77. For some reason, the players is down three. I'm not sure if it was because of like the way I was reacting emotionally to big plays. 
Health and fatigue coming out of that game. Waddle, 99% fatigue. For health, Clark's at 75, Brookings 79. We're pretty much good coming out of that. We got some college scouting, and this is a really good offensive draft. I think the first thing that pops out to me is we might have to find another wide receiver. We've already scouted the medium school wideouts. Why don't we go big school receivers? So, we had that one play I did the training for during the week, and also called a couple plays during the game. So after one week, all these players have mastered this play, which appears to be like our entire starting offense. 93%, his left leg's at 82. I gotta think that's from the preseason injury. So he's good to go, but it seems that maybe his stamina is draining faster, or he feels the effects of that fatigue sooner. Right now his stamina is a 90, which is just fine, so I have to imagine it's just the effects of the injury. I don't think we have to sign a free agent running back. I think we have to find a younger running back to develop. Uh, we have some okay players here. Jamie Hollings from Yale, 22 year old rookie, 84 speed. We need some speed at running back, come on now. I would love to add Jamal Charles to our team. We gotta make a roster spot. All right, low learning, low potential here for Derek Jones. We're already developing Drexler. Let's release Jones. Jamal Charles. Now, we know what he became in real life. A very good running back. 98 speed. 48 awareness. 71 ball carrier vision. Gotta remember, we're getting Jamal Charles as he was in this time. With 68 injury, keep in mind. That's very low. We're going to sign Freddie Brockers, okay? He has good vision. He has adequate athleticism. He has 80 elusiveness. We're signing Freddie Brockers. All right, staff development. Wow, Harley got like a lot of XP it seems in this last week. And I wanted to use 10K at the next chance to possibly go with the charisma upgrade. Just because if, you know, we have some tough losses or whatever, I don't want to lose too much approval. So that would help. But what happens if we, like, start the season strong and win a bunch of games? Maybe I don't do that. And maybe I put the point somewhere else. Yeah, it's weird, huh? You win, you finally get some real experience. I didn't know what it was like last year. Might be able to do something here with our receivers, coach. Alright, we're gonna do game film here for this upgrade. Alright, we're gonna sim this week though. Does the winning streak end or do we actually begin 2 and 0? Oh? We are simming this one. After our amazing week 1 win, another one! 2 and 0, oh, we defeat the Carolina Panthers 9 to 0. A shutout. Now, Matt Ryan, not as good. This is closer to Chad Henney level of play. But our defense, four interceptions. How many do you think Demario Waddle had? We are now 2-0 to start. Turner, 39 yards. For the Panthers, Jonathan Stewart, 46. Ben Watson, eight more catches. Two busy games for him to start. And now interceptions. Rhodes had three, Michael Boley had one. So despite two in week one after two games, Waddle is second on the team in picks. Carry Rhodes, let's go. Three sacks, by the way. Travis Baldwin got the first of his career. And Reeves, three for three, hit a 53-yarder. Didn't miss any kicks. So much better than our time with the Miami Dolphins. Wow. I think that's a great place to end this episode. We get into this season, and what a start. Matt Ryan, rough game there in the Week 2 game against the Panthers, but hopefully we see more play like we did in the opener. Wow, they keep track of QB wins. The running game hasn't done much two games in. They're not efficient yet. But we're still 2-0 playing really good defense. That is your start 
to the Falcons era here with Harley Jean Charles, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back again soon with more NFL Head Coach 09. Have a great day, everybody.